This is Gary Duff, Presbyterian Churchyard outside Dun Dunloy in County Antrim. And amongst those led to rest here are the Dunlop family. So you'll see here of the famous Dunlop uh, motorcycling dynasty. You can see the first to pass away as a result of an accident um, was Joey, known as William Joseph. And you can see on his headstone it has, uh, it says that he had the, an OBE and an MBE. And he died as a result of an accident uh, in Eastern Europe on the 2nd of July 2000, aged 48. And on either side of the headstone, on the main headstone, it has a representation of Joey and his, his famous number three. And then the, the Finnish uh, flags as well to represent the finish of the race. And the base it says, we will love you always. And then there's a separate plaque to say uh, from his grandchildren, again with the representation of the number three and Joey's signature. So after the death of Joey over in Eastern Europe then, when he's led to rest here in July 2000, thousands and thousands of bikers accompanied his funeral cortege to this very graveyard here. So then directly behind then the grave is uh, the rest, final resting place of his brother, Robert, known as Dr. Robert uh, Dunlop. And he was known as the Mighty Micro. So uh, you'll see on, uh, on his headstone, as well as a photograph of him with one of his uh, laurels after winning a race then, there's a representation of his, his helmet and his nickname, the Mighty Micro. And he was killed in practice at the Northwest 200 on the 15th of May, 2008. He was aged 47 years. Tragically then, more recently in 2018, William, in other words, Joey's uh, nephew and Robert's son, uh, he was killed in practice down at Scarries in the Republic of Ireland. And he died 7th of July, 2018. He was only aged 33. So he is rep uh, it says here, loved and remembered always. And then a further plaque here to, uh, to uh, Robert uh, in his memory. And again, the, he was number four, so that's represented on the uh, family grave. So there's lots and lots of little motorcycles on, particularly on, on Robert and William's grave as well. So again, Gary Duff Presbyterian Churchyard outside Dunloy. This is the final resting place of the Dunlop family from the sporting dynasty of the motorcycling dynasty. So this is in the town of Balamoney. This is the Joey Dunlop Memorial Garden. You can see here he's known as the King of the Roads and it, some of his uh, many victories uh, are listed there. Of course he was most well known for his victories in both the Isle of Man uh, TT and also the Northwest 200. And here, at this fantastic uh, memorial here, he's commemorated as Joey Dunlop, 1952 to 2000, husband, father, son, brother, friend and gentleman, who became one of the motorcycle racing's greatest ambassador. And that was written by Honda, who he raced with so successfully for many years. Sadly then, down, in, uh, down here, there's uh, a garden of remembrance uh, in memorial to his brother, and uh, nephew, so we'll go down there as well. So this is the lower section of the Dunlop Memorial Garden, and then, uh, so we have uh, a statue here of the mighty micro himself, Robert, and you can see he's depicted here after winning one of his many races the bottle of champagne and the laurel here. And then in the base of this uh, memorial then is a representation of the uh, circuit for the Northwest 200, uh, where he was so successful, but sadly was also killed there in practice. And then in, in 2008, and you can see behind as well, uh, Robert Dunlop, 1960 to 2008. And he's commemorated as husband, father, son and brother. A true hero who touched the lives of many people. And then beside Robert then is his son, uh, William. And this is William represented here. And uh, he, uh, he died in practice 
uh, down at the Scurries race. So this is the representation of the Scurry circuit at the base of his uh, uh, statue. So again, in this memorial garden, Sally uh, commemorated Joey, Robert and William.